Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to take Multistar 8000 milliamp hour for us battery. Light it into this 3D printed case, you'll find on Thinkiverse, and make it perform like an original Typhoon battery. Here we go. I'll show you how to assemble one of these Typhoon batteries with these 3D prints. Here's uh, one of the early versions I did. I ran across a few features. So uh, that's the original locking tab that I had. It's pretty, pretty sharp. It's hard to get it in and out. So I've changed it. Um, so it's a little bit lower. I've got a grip on the top. I also grip on the bottom just, just to help squeeze it out. So first off, you want to make sure that your print scoured up well. So here's a Dean's plug. Just just check the fit in there, good. Okay. So take one pin out of one and the other pin out of the other. Yeah, that's pretty easy to do. See that? One pin out of one, the other pin out of the other. With one cable cut, chance of shorting out the other cable. Pretty rare. If I were to use two cables both stripped at the same time, the chance of one hitting the other, it's a good chance of a slightly larger heat shrink. These are thick cables, what are they? Twelves? Good quality cat solder. Decent iron, broad tip. Had this iron for 20 years I think. I'll make sure that I really get the solder wicking into the wire. The positive one from this reference is down the bottom, which is that one there. Yeah. My jig to hold that. Let's get a bit of solder on that just to. That was a joint. Don't sold it yet. It's like heat shrink, you need to make sure you get the wires through first. I really feel I'm juggling at the moment. Not happy with the joint, do it again. Well, that's really flowed well. That's that's solid. That that one will not be breaking. Trusty reflow iron for heat shrinking. I don't know what to do without it. Look, the heat shrink isn't needed. It's just an extra safety margin. But. The wire is inside the recess of the plug here. I just can't see it shortening out. They're safe and sorry. Now we work on the next one. You know what I mean about shorting out? The, the other one isn't going to touch now. So 
It'll be easy if I just feed it in here. Juggle it around a bit just to give me a bit more working space. That little twist in case it any wires came out loose. Mentally thinking to myself, don't forget to put heat shrink on this. really don't want to get this wrong. That's a negative, that one. That's hot. Check that joint if it doesn't look right. Let's do it again. While I wait for that glue gun to warm up, let's just briefly talk about how I charge these. I built this up. These are available on the Thingiverse. It's got the allegander of the Dean's plugs on it, XT60. And it just allows me to plug in so I can go to normal charger. Now, if you wanted to re have this battery so you can use it in other craft, you could leave the XT9 on, maybe go an XT60. I think you'd want to go a bit shorter so it goes and fits in and then use an extension cable if you need to in, in other things. There's not fully to the back of the edges there and there's not a lot of room here. It's pretty tight. There's enough room to get your balance leads in and out. I actually charge via the, via the balance leads with the charger that I use. But when in the field, I can just use a normal charger. I've got XT60 there. And balance, so just go in. That glue gun should be hot enough now. Put my workspace a little bit. I'm always want to double check that I've got things the right way around. You know this is a long side. Sit your battery like this long side. Closest turn will be probably negative. Long side and the bottom is positive. And here's the original battery that would be the top of it. This end is negative. And that ends positive. Let's be the top. Negative, positive. Yeah. Quickly feel everything's clear to move in and out. Maybe tell the camera to focus on that. It's not rocket science, these hot glue guns. Don't worry about a bit of overflow, we'll clean it up later. We we'll do the plug, we'll do the socket, it really doesn't matter either. Yeah. Easy as. 
turn that around so it bounces leaders to my side. I do find that these wires sometimes get caught sliding in and out of the craft. All this plastic does. Something to be cautious of if you need to move things or put tape on it. Go and do that. I'm really thinking of just running a piece of tape across here just to keep things firm. So that glue at the point where it's not burning, it's not sticking, but it's still pliable. I pull off on my fingers if I do it now, I'm gonna wait, wait for a bit longer and then I have to use a knife. Here's the batch we just made. Now I just just hit that heat shrink with the heat gun again just to stop it sticking out the side. It's getting stuck the first attempt. So nice and easy in. Nice positive click and it's not coming out. Just go and take it out. Oops. Push down and pull. I've, I've put a tab on the end, that really seems to kind of help it too. That's in the print now. Check those wires on the side, slide in, click.